Okay, so here we go again. Um, when we have restarts, of course, ship lineups can't stay, uh, can't change. They have to remain. So we've got gearing Zephyr 2 Elbing for uh, Shaft's Destroyers, Moskva, Moskva, Des Moines, Hindenburg for Shaft's Cruisers, Double Kerr first for their battleships. Posing them to the south, TX-1F is bringing with them a gearing, a daring, a Shimakaze, Des Moines, Mosfa, Henri, Yoshino, Kerfurst, and Kremlin. All right, so let's kind of sit back for a second, see how this goes. Remember, this is a best of three setup. Okay, good. Looks like everything's working, and Stevie's coming into the room. Lovely. Zephyr 2 is an interesting pick. Um, it's going to be able to use its hydro to uh, try to cap bully. Uh, it can go to a very risky but also safe position here over by A, right behind this cathedral, um, and use its hydro to lock down that area quite well. Might be where uh, Obi Wankov is heading right now. We will have to see. In the meantime, not too much else to report so far in this battle. Both teams look like they are making for a more even split for deployment, which I, f I feel is kind of interesting. I, I would expect... Yep, look, Zephyr 2 is going exactly where I thought he would. He's got Hydro banging away. Um, I would have expected the teams to make uh, one pick and, and then go from there. Um, that didn't happen, unfortunately. So, hmm. We'll have to see. Both teams look like they want to play a little bit more cautiously, be more reactive. Obi Wankov, though, with that Z52, is going to be able to back into A. Now, the question is can anybody radar him? The Mosva radar is too far south. Matter of fact, he's got shells incoming right now from the Kerr first at super long range. Let's see what happens. Oof. Oof. That looked to me like a citadel in the bow turret. Nice hit there from that Kerr first. Mustache Maul, though, taking some hits in exchange. He'll be fine, though. He's got a heal. And with that, we have our first cap of the game. A cap going to Shaft. They will start ticking up points. Interesting seeing a Yoshino. A uh, Yoshino has what I like to call 20 kilometer team killing torpedoes. Which of course they don't team kill anymore, but they used to. Um, her HE is quite nice. Her AP is great against broadside cruisers. Um, but she, she doesn't have a lot of push power. For her, it's more of a kiting away game, as Shaft is now forming a Death Snail on the other side of the map. Let's go take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. They've got a Des Moines hiding in Gearing Smoke. Up, oh, nope. Uh, that's Elbing Smoke. That's Vert's Elbing Smoke. And then Repri is extending that smoke with the gearing. That's a really smart, nice play there. It's going to allow them to get uh, a Bax 21's Des Moines really up close and personal. Matter of fact, if only he thought to radar. But now he's going to because the gearing got spotted. Repri took some shots at him. And look at all the pain coming to Montmaria. Monte Maria. Uh, something tells me he ain't long for this world. Mosfa shells coming in. Vert's Elbing takes him down. Just like that. 
The Z52, we, while this was happening, OP1 cap went and capped the B cap. Now that we've got two caps held for Shaft plus a kill, Shaft is in a very commanding lead here. Clapping cheeks with the raid. Thank you very much, clapping cheeks, from five minutes in your future. I do wonder if there's a way, I don't know if there is. TX1F playing very cautiously both sides. You can see the reaction of that is they really don't have an area they can push very easily. Henri is a kiting ship. Yoshino is a kiting ship. Now, Repri's gearing is now being shot at by everybody. Uh, and Spy 509's Shimakaze also being shot at by everybody. So we have a bit of a destroyer slab fight with friends. I kind of feel like both destroyers are going to go down here. Shaft could absolutely afford to lose this gearing, though, if it, had, if it comes to this. Repri doing a nice job of throttling, uh, feathering the throttle there. Takes down Spy 509, who recently followed this channel. More hits on Repri, and Repri is now dark. So... It ends up being a full free kill, if you will, for Team Shaft, as now Sergi in uh, the Des Moines is in trouble. We'll have to see um, to see if they're able to. I mean, this is pretty much the end of the game, I would say. It would be nice if the Kremlin would just say to heck with this and hit W. Um, take some of the pressure off of his uh, teammates in the cruiser and whatnot. Uh, we do see another push on the other side of the map. And this is what you really have to do when you're losing uh, the game is just push. All sides, go. And to hell with the consequences, you know what I mean? Like, you just you just have to. Um, but Shaft is pretty much, if you look at the mini-map and draw a line across that mini-map, they've basically just pushed through the middle of the map. Some single-fire torps coming in for, uh, gotta smash the trash's Moskva. He's got Hydro up, so, uh, not a problem there whatsoever. And now, to add insult to injury, Vert's Elbing goes and grabs the sea cap. As uh, Abax's Des Moines gets smoked up again. There goes the daring. And it's really all over by the crying here. For this game, as a matter of fact, I have a feeling we're about to see a ram. Because that's about all that this uh, Kremlin can really do at this point. There it is. And uh, this game will be over momentarily. Now, if we go to a 2-0 situation, uh, we will try to find another match for you. However, um, you know, we did sign up for certain matches, so uh, depending on timing, we may end up having to sit for a while. Bioevo is probably the next one to die, and as soon as that happens, that will probably trigger the win, if not sooner. You guys liking the new visual and sound effects in this game? Oh, there goes Sergi. 40 hit points remaining. Who will be the next to die? It's gonna be the Kerr first, like I thought. Ta da! Team Alpha is the winner. Congratulations to Shaft. Z52, who capped both caps, asserts his dominance over his fellow German shipmate and gets that kill. Pretty solid win for Shaft. I don't necessarily know how TX1F is going to be able to find a way back in. 
But we do have at least one more game left. We'll see what happens here. Um, let me go to my best of three. Yep. All right, here we go, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Round two, fight. Yes, we got the build viewer back. Ah, okay, so let's take a look at our setup here. Daring, Shimakaze, Shimakaze for T, uh, TX1F. Of note is Monte Maria is running the 8-kilometer torpedoes and Spy is running the 12s. Interesting. Okay, both of them are... Kind of a mess of builds, interestingly enough. You would think that Monte with, with the 8 kilometer torps would want to know exactly where the nearest target is, but he doesn't. So we'll see how that pans out. Neither of them going for a unique upgrade, although I, I was just going to say I don't think unique upgrades are allowed. And then we have the Des Moines with the unique upgrade. That's Sergi. Got ourselves a Hindenburg and a Moskva with also unique upgrade. They, and they still want that Yoshino, but they, do, they uh, dropped the... Henri, it looks like. They still want that Yoshino. Kremlin with unique upgrade and Kerfurst also unique upgrade. Interesting. Posing to the south is Shaft looking to win at game two so they can just move on uh, and get ready for their next match. They've got their own torpedo spec Shimakaze that's 12s. They've got a Daring fronted by a Harugumo that's full 420 blaze it. So this replaces a normal gearing smoke. And you can see Carl with the Daring, they're probably going to try to get Abax 21's Des Moines to this little safe spot behind the uh, the Big Island there. Elite Quackening and the Mosfa taking up the typical spot. Unique upgrade there, unique upgrade on the Des Moines. Got our Daring Vert heading towards the Sea Cap, backed up by unique upgrade Moskva. There's our regular Specked Kremlin and a unique upgrade her first. And I think that takes care of everybody on their team. Uh, yes, there we go. That's where I want to go. Now, for those of you guys who might be wondering about some of the different unique upgrades, I'm going to load that up and let you guys know about those momentarily. You can see Repri detected. Doesn't even care. Still going full speed right for this island. He knows he can't slow down. He knows that if he slows down... That's going to screw over his buddy. Look at all the hit points on his torpedo launcher. Boy, did he get lucky there. All right, and just like that, Ripri does his job. But of course, you know, the daring is right there, so. Uh, speaking of daring, Carl trying to back into the cap now. Blind shells coming in from TX1's Moskva gets a little hit and a, re and a decap and catastrophic. We just caught a glimpse of it. Whoa, Ripri going down to some brilliant Shimakaze torpedoes by Spy 501. Those are the 12s. And with that, Abax is kind of exposed. Now, TX1 is sending both of their battleships to uh, this flank. So if they can get in front of Abax's Des Moines, they can absolutely cause a world of hurt. Speaking of world of hurt, Achelios' Mosfa takes a couple of hits. He's forced to duck into this island for cover. Get some more torpedoes of our own, though, coming in on the Mosfa. Are they going to hit? Nah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Of course, he's about to remember, be reminded that he has Hydro. <laughs> Use the tool! <laughs> anyway. Simply Carl rotating in the Daring now. He got the B-Cap. Interestingly enough, he was able to get the B-Cap. Vert's Daring gets the C-Cap, by the way. And now, Carl is in position to help uh, smoke Abax's Des Moines out of this position if necessary. That being said, it looks to me more like he's just trying to be a spotting bot for torpedoes and whatnot that are coming in. That was a really nice torpedo salvo earlier. Zath approved. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so one thing I want to note is despite that early kill and everything else going for them, we're not really seeing uh, TX1F capitalize on that, right? They are slowly working their way into position. And that's just... Like, the Daring's Torpedoes here are, are brilliant, right? Because they're going to slow this Kremlin down. As a matter of fact, he's going to take three torpedoes. If he just stayed bow on, he would have only taken one, maybe two. But nope, he turned. Why would he turn? I don't know. It feels weird to me. Because I feel like they could have easily just smashed the Des Moines in the face. Sergi goes down to the Moskva. Sergi was all the way up there. He was... He was bow in. And then made the made the turn. And was broadside to... Gotta smash the trash's Mosfa. And just like that, TXF1 is just kind of... They put themselves into a corner. It's very easy for this to happen in a competitive environment. Kelios' Moskva barely caught the daring on radar. But not enough to uh, <laughs> get the kill. And he's getting punished for it. Coming out on the wrong side of this island. And you can see the result of that. You always want to have the island on the side where you expect most of your shells to come in from. Ooh, that was a cool bounce. Um, and as a result, uh, it's just a matter of time. Here come the Mosfa shells. This should end him. And it does. Just like that. Brilliant Mosfa play by God of Smash the Trash. We get ourselves a Kremlin on Kremlin duel. So that Kremlin took the time to go all the way around and now he's showing broadside to the Moskva I mean that's kind of it so very strong early game for TX1F, but I'll tell you, uh, they're just not able to capitalize on it. Abacus uh, has his Apex, has his Hydro up. There are conga line torpedoes coming. He's going to take two in the face. And I believe his DEI, his DCP is down, so that should cause a flood. His heal is up. He's trying to heal through this flood. And Kerfers tries to start a fire with the secondaries. Doesn't happen. So, I don't think Abax is going to go down. Meanwhile, in the sea cap, Yoshino and Shimakaze have decided maybe it's time to push. Eight kilometer torpedoes not really coming in handy in this game for Monte Maria's Shimakaze. Do my characteristic thing, look for a game three. And I'm gonna check on my sign up here. Oops. Next one is at 1620. He started at 1500. Okay. 
Gotta do some mental math here. Yoshino goes down to the Daring. And the Masvo working together. And this is pretty much all over for this team. Now, this is just day one of the tournament. This is our uh, group stage. So, TX1F is by no means out, and Shaft, we know, is a very strong team. The reason I picked this to start us off with is because, um, well, Shaft is kind of fun to watch. I always thought they, they do some interesting um, tricks, like dying here. <laughs> uh, for time extensions. Up, oh, Shimakaze goes down. And once again, when the Kerfers dies, that will be game. Ta-da! 10 seconds to go. I don't think anybody else is going to die. Nope. So let's see. What can I do for my death pick? I guess I'll stick with the curve first because really there's not much else to look at. How about we do like that? See? A Russian ship passing a German ship. That, 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 that works. So a absolute solid play by Shaft reacting to the loss of, the, of their destroyer early on. And you can see just how influential Goddess Master Trash and Vert are. Absolutely fantastic work by both teams. Congratulations to our winner, Shaft. Let me go ahead and set that up. Boom. Group 4 games start very soon. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look. What do we have for Group 4? Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Alright, so Shaft is the winner. Two points. And I'm going to look for... Ah. I'm guessing it would be A and D would be hosting. Yes. Oh no, it looks like the, uh, the streamer that was assigned to this isn't here. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 